I hope that you all are okay. So today I have brought a very important topic. So this topic is about the curing of concrete. In our today's discussion, we will clear our four questions. The first question is that what is curing of concrete? And the second question is that what is the purpose of curing of concrete? The third question is that what are the different methods of curing? And the fourth question is that the period of curing. So we will clear all questions in our today video. Watch the full video so that you people don't miss any point. Let's start the first question. The curing is actually a process of watering a fresh concrete up to a certain time period so that the concrete gets its desired trend. Actually, after placing a fresh concrete, we are going to water the concrete because we want that this concrete achieve the full strength. That's why we are going to cure the concrete. As you can see, I have read also here that it is a process of watering a fresh concrete up to a certain time period so that the concrete can desire trend. So well, this is all about our first question. Our second question is that what is the purpose of curing of concrete? As we know that concrete is a mixture of cement, sand, aggregate and water. When we add water to the mixture of cement, sand and aggregate, then, then a process will take place which is known as hydration process. Hydration process is a process between water plus cement. So hydration process is the process, chemical process between water and cement, the ingredient of concrete. And this process, hydration process is actually an exothermic process. Exothermic process means that in this process, the heat will be released to the out system. So this is an exothermic process. And the purpose of curing of concrete is to reduce the heat loss of hydration process by lowering the temperature of the concrete as we are providing or we are watering the concrete so that the minimum heat loss takes place of by hydration process. So this is a purpose of curing of a concrete. I hope that you have got the second question also. Now our third question is about the time period of curing of a concrete. That means that for how many times we should water the fresh concrete. So it depends on the types of cement we are using in a concrete. Here, if we are going to use a OPC, ordinary for clay cement, then we will cure the concrete for minimum seven days. Minimum seven days. But if we are going to use a PPC, hypothetical cement, that we will cure the concrete for minimum 10 days. For PPC, minimum 10 days. These are the minimum days of curing of a concrete for OPC and PPC. And we can cure the concrete for more than this day because we know that the concrete can achieve a full strength up to 28 days. I hope that you have also got our third question, this is about the time period of curing of a concrete. So now we will move toward our fourth and last question and this is about the method of curing of concrete. So there are different methods of curing of a concrete. We will discuss one by one with a picture and diagram so that your mind clear regarding this method. You people should know that the curing of concrete can also be done for a mortar work like plaster work, like pointing work. Our first method of curing of concrete is a spraying method. As the name represents the spraying, a spraying method of curing of concrete, we will spray the water on fresh mixed concrete or a mortar or plaster work. Like if we have done a plaster, then we are going to spray a water on this fresh concrete or fresh plaster. Also, you can see in the picture about a spraying method. The spraying method is a method of spraying water on fresh concrete or fresh mortar work like uh, plaster etc. 
So this is all about our first method of curing of concrete. The second method is bonding method. In this method, if we have done a slave work, a slave concrete work, then this is a topic of a slave, then here we will then here we will make a strip boundary. Here we will put water so that the water should spread on this horizontal surface. We are using spawning method of curing of concrete for slave work, for floor work, for any horizontal work. Also, you can see in the picture about the ponding method that this is used for uh, any horizontal surface of a freshly concrete. The third method is with cover of concrete surface. In this method, we are covering the concrete surface by wheat uh, bags so that the heat loss of concrete should be minimized. Also, you can see in the picture about the width cover of surfacing of concrete curing method that, that the column surface are covered by a wheat bag. So this is the third method. The fourth method of curing of concrete is the curing compound. In this method, we are going to use uh, some compound which will minimize the heat loss of a pressed concrete. So this is why, so this is why called a curing compound method of a curing of a concrete. This is our fourth method. And the last method is a steaming method. This is also a method of curing of a concrete. In this method, the concrete is pressurized by a steaming so that the heat loss of any pressure concrete can be minimized. So this is all about our today's discussion. I hope that your mind will clear regarding our today's discussion. So if you are new to the channel, subscribe the channel, like the video, and if you have any question regarding our today's discussion, then you can ask without any hesitation in the comment section. Thank you for watching the video.